Hello, hello, and welcome back. This video is going to be rather short, but I think it will be quite useful to most people, especially those who aren't too used to modding Stalker. It will also be a useful resource for me when helping people fix their issues. If you are having any issues with your mods, I recommend first asking the corresponding mod packs Discord server, presuming you are using a mod pack. Else, ask in the Stalker Anomaly Discord server. If you are still stuck, someone else or I may be able to help you in our Discord server. Links to all the servers will be in the description. Lastly, Remember to like the video and subscribe if you enjoyed, and come catch me when I'm live on Twitch, link in the description. Firstly I'll talk about Mod Organizer 2. This is the mod manager that you are or should be using to manage your stalker install. MO2 works on a priority based system, this means mods of higher priority will overwrite lower priority files. For example, say I have two mods, both contain the same file except the contents of the first one contains the word cat, and the second one contains the word dog. If I give the second mod, containing the word dog, higher priority, when I run the game, the file will say dog, as it has a higher priority and overwrote the cat file. Making sure the mods are sorted by priority, in MO2, mods closer to the bottom of the list will have a higher priority with the mod at the bottom having the highest, therefore overriding everything before it. To install a mod, click this button in the top left or press Ctrl M, then find the mod in your files and double click the compressed file. Do not extract the mod, once added, you'll see the mod at the bottom of your load order. Decide where the mod should go priority wise and make sure to check the box next to the mod to enable it. Final tip for MO2 is to keep your mods organized. If you right click, you can create separators to organize your mods. Keeping your mods organized will make debugging problems easier. Mods that add an item or a weapon can be quite easy to test. To do this, launch the anomaly launcher in MO2. Make sure that debug mode is checked in the launcher. Then, once it has launched, press the F2 key. This will load the debug world, saving you from corrupting an existing save. Then press the F7 key to open the debug menu, then the 1 key to open the item spawner. Here you can find all the items in the game. If your game crashes, you can begin to debug the issue. There is no one solution to every problem, and there are way too many problems which could crash the game to cover in a video. So your best bet is to check the log file and proceed from there. To find the log file, click the saves tabs in MO2, then right click a save, click open in explorer, then navigate up a directory and open the logs folder. There should be a .log file. If you open it in a text editor and scroll to the bottom, there will be an error message. If it is a simple message like a missing file, you may be able to resolve it yourself by looking at the mods files. If not, consult one of the previous mentioned discord servers for help, providing the log file. That is going to be all for this video. Hopefully now you have a basic understanding on how to mod stalker anomaly and troubleshooting errors. Remember to like the video and subscribe if you learned something, else I'll see you next time.